Hello, we are live. <laughs> Sorry for the delay we had. We we're trying a new setup, so don't know if you'll be able to notice, but we moved desks and cameras and everything. I have so. leg room now. Relatively. Kind of. I'm <laughs> straddling the, the desk. But easy, easy. It's better. <laughs> uh, hey, everybody. Welcome to the Forest Forge uh, Wild Crafting with Avenue Studios. I'm Dan. This I'm Kristen. My wife, Kristen, and we are going to be forging the next, uh, what would you say? The fe Well, the female squealers. So yes. last time we did squealers, this is the scariest monster Chris can, Kristen could think of. I can't talk today. <laughs> I'm tired. Kristen's going to have to carry this one. But uh, quick announcements, of course. Uh, you can support us, uh, Avenue Studios. We're on YouTube, uh, Rumble, and uh, anywhere podcasts are found for most of our Locals. shows. Local, yeah, you can support us on Patreon and Locals, and we are doing a sub, uh, supporter challenge right now. We need, I think, seven more people to join us on Locals or Patreon uh, combined, and we will be doing a special movie night where we are going to watch my college thesis from 2009 that has some of the other AV members in the show and uh, a lot of the people who now help make this channel possible. Uh, help make that film possible. So it's going to have tons of giveaways, painted miniatures from Zechariah. Um, there's going to be dice. There's going to be DVDs of Kanaga. And there's like behind the scenes, other films I made during college, including a documentary and the band I was in and stuff. So it's a oh, lot of good. fun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dice pads. I can't quite see it here, but dice pads, bomb squad, dice pads, and maybe some bomb squad mugs. So there'll be a lot of stuff. All the giveaways are only going to be for our supporters through locals and Patreon by uh, supporting us that way you not only help us continue to create high quality content but we also will you'll gain access to our exclusive discord where we chat watch movies play games and so much more and feed our and, babies uh, and feed our <laughs> babies yeah <laughs> so anyways i think that's it um yeah let's dive into it squealers cool so last time um we had talked about the whole concept in general, which came about from a car trip. Um, so this, I was trying to think of the scariest kind of monster monster that I would not want to meet. So pretty much it was anything I, that would get inside of your head kind of thing. So came up with the idea of squealers. So last time, we created the male squealers. Switch over. Sure. And uh, the males are small, smaller, with a wingspan, so kind of like a bat kind of looking thing because they're dark. And they will wrap around your head, and then they have the, oh, what's the word? Uh, something with a P. Oh. What is it? <laughs> the little, I want to say uh, prosthesis. Prosthesis. <laughs> The little they like have a fake leg coming out of their yes, mouth. Yes, <laughs> the little mm, clinical things that come out. Adam, help me. It, uh, oh my gosh, I'm blind. <laughs> and then so, really so those tonight. little things come out, and then they are going to go into your ears. Proboscis, thank you. Proboscis. I was very close. No, you were. And then <laughs> once you said like prosthetic, I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> Oh, gimpy bat creature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so they um, will put the, what is it again? Proboscis. Proboscis. <laughs> in their victim's ears, and they will lay an egg in their head, and that egg will hatch, and the th little baby will eat off of your brain and slowly make you go crazy until... It gets to a certain point where the male squealer can call the baby to take over your brain, to bring your body to the den where the brood mother and the female squealers are so they can consume your body. Um, so, nice. yeah. So, the... It would be more accurate to say deposits the egg. The brood mother produces the eggs and then the males yes. carry them. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. To... The victims and we did victims, talk yeah. about they feed the eggs feeding more off of like your your everyone has every sentient creature has some level of psionic resonance and that's more what they're feeding on rather than really actually the brain because you're talking about how if the brain was eaten at some point that they would just die i guess 
You still I like think it. it's gross still, if they actually uh, eat the they brain. Nibble. They nibble. They nibble. They nibble. snack. No, but you're right. I know. Because like, if you're if one of your characters <clears throat> had that happen to them, you wouldn't want to leave them like with half a brain. Right. So. Well, maybe it's a specific thing. Maybe it's almost that they're going for a specific part of the brain. For you nerds out there, Adam, while you're out there, if you have an idea of like. When we were talking about like the back. Of right. The head near really. The spinal cord. Right. Maybe they're so maybe going it could for be, a specific. Maybe it has something with the spinal fluid or the brain. Yeah, that's pretty Stuff classic. There. Yeah. Yeah. So. This time, oh, what was the item that we created too? That was the egg itself. The item was the egg. Okay, we also created the egg. Also, side note, I hear it right now. A cricket got in the studio and is in the wall. In the wall behind some of this, the barn wood that I used to build it. And so if you hear, it's making me very upset. If you hear crickets right over He's there. He's sitting right over there. I just can't <laughs> get him. Listen, unbelievable. I think my <laughs> my filters might be blocking them out a little. <laughs> Aww. Okay. So, uh, anyways, so now we That's are going true. to create what? Adam was saying they could eat the brain in the final stages. Oh yeah. And it's like the yeah. last thing. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so yeah, let's build. We want to create the female squealers. Oops, not NPC. That's fine. What so the do? female squealers are larger. And they actually do have mouths, and because they actually eat the body, same as the brood mother. Because the brood mother is just another female; she was just chosen and grew to an enormous size because of that. And I think Sheila just eats a lot more. Is that like why she's bigger? Yes, my personal horror is cric crickets in the wall. Sorry, say that again. <laughs> I'm so distracted by it. What what would be the difference between the brood mother and the females? Like what? Why does she why so much more well, bigger? Well, I don't know if we talked about this last time, but when we had originally created the thing, punch the wall. You just hit it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's so mad. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> um, we had talked about that if not interfered with. The 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 there's a certain amount of time that the the or a brood mother lasts, and when she is coming to the end of her egg laying and life, mm -hmm. um, what females there are fight it out to the death, and whoever survives yes. flies off. What to start changes them, so then they become mm -hmm. enormous. Oh, that they consume all the females that they yes, defeat. Yes, so it does eat a lot. And, yeah, and they just, physically eat yeah. a lot. And then also in the consumption of the other females, also her psionic mm -hmm. abilities just go great. Like she's able to absorb the science a little bit. We've been watching mm -hmm. Attack on Titan, so it's a little bit like that. Absorbing. <laughs> oh, it's such a good theme song. It okay. Um, okay, so the females are larger, I think. Squealer female. Last time, I think we were talking about them having legs. <laughs> yeah. I think it would be weird. But, like, maybe they have, like, some talony kind of legs. I mean, then it's looking, like, really bat-like, but... Right. Do you want to... I mean, we're making it anew, so... Yeah. Whatever you want to do. Do you want to stick with them just having a fly speed still? And no real walking speed? I guess it would depend on what their biggest attack is. Wh mm -hmm. What that is, yeah. So. Well, what is it? What are you imagining that is? I feel like we didn't really talk much about the females yet because we were so consumed with figuring out the males that it was just like, and the females are just big and strong and kill you. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, okay. Well, that's their thing. Their things are they they're the actual defender. They are larger in size. Yes. Um and they And there's not as many. There's not as many. They guard There's probably like three the den. Or four. So should we play up since they will eventually become the broodmother? I feel like oh, this is good. So okay. they lay flat on the ground. And then, so then they can like pop up and attack your party if they uh, don't see them. Almost so camouflage. they're all like That's super. Cool. And then the brood mother's like huge and like completely wraps around the entire cavern, like impossibly large. Like, oh, I like disgusting. that too. And she has a huge mouth. 
we're not talking about her yet, but I, I this is what I'm thinking. Yeah, she well, just keep, has, keep go, she just has go a with huge mouth, that. and she has a lot of the little tentacly things that are inside of her mouth too that can grab, grasp, and slowly pull you into her mouth. Nice. Um, so I feel like the female's jobs for the brood mother would be to get you closer to her, right? So like knocking you right. down. Um, and biting you too, mm -hmm. and they would have pretty strong bites, I guess. Right. Adam threw out an interesting thing just to think about is, do you want to go just totally different and the females are unable to fly? Yeah, I kind of feel it. You're feeling that too? But I like the idea of them looking similar, because they're still the same like type of creature, so. Right. They still have wings. Well, <clears throat> or maybe it's the brood and mother is... She's so large that she's effectively flightless. She, yeah, she and cannot maybe, fly. She just hangs on to the, yeah, to the cave walls. And so maybe we give the the females a flight speed of their own, but it's less. Maybe it's like the lower, like they can't fly very fast because they're already getting kind of big. Mm hmm. What would be super creepy? Like maybe they don't have legs. They just have the. We were talking about they have talons, maybe on the ends of their wings, so they have. Talons right. and they just kind of like hobble around on their talons. Yeah, yeah. And then they well, try I mean, to grab like you too with their hooks. So they try to hook into you and then try to eat you. Right. No, I like that. Maybe they're <laughs> not quite like a chicken where they, they can't really fly, but they can like flap for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, I think like so. That, you know, yeah. Because chickens can go a relatively decent distance. But I'm going to say that they have talons. On the ends. Um, yeah, so you know I think what would that's be fun. Cool. That would be really like kind of gross and creepy. Have you ever seen like a bat on the floor in your house? Because yes. I have multiple times, <laughs> and it's disgusting. And they're like, bang, bang, bang. like you know, right. it's like that, but huge. <laughs> It'd almost be like it's got its legs chopped off too, so it's like yes. has to drag itself. It's and like dragging it... itself. It's kind of like <laughs> hunchy and flopping around. And it's just like unnervingly like weird the way that it moves yeah gliding I, what i'm thinking would be fun for open legend specifically doing so instead of them having flights so we're actually going to give them like a very uh, let's give them a 15 foot walking speed like half the normal or sure. should we do less than that 10 or i like what? 15 yeah. i think yeah uh 15 foot walking let me change that. And then what I was thinking is going off of that they, they can't quite, um, they can't quite fly. Let's give them. Do you think they have like a disgusting like leap? Yeah, like I they was can thinking, really well, they grab have to do it, it and like front. leap at you, yeah, like really well. And right. so it's like you, you're like, oh, they can't go that fast, and they're all of a sudden they're like, ah, right. they're like, like right, right on, on you. you. Which, Which leads me into, I'm thinking we give them them. great leap feet, the great mm -hmm. leap feet. Mm -hmm. So let's see, I gotta pull Love it up. It. Of course, shout out to Tiri Taylor Hay, who also mm -hmm. from Bomb Squad, the character has a great leap. Let's see here, I got feet up. Go down to great leap. G, where are you, G? Here we go. Through the... extraordinary power, exceptional ability, you can jump yeah. much farther than the average creature. A telekinetic superhero and an insectoid race of bipedal cricket-like beings. He knows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they would almost use their move action normally to jump, I think. Okay, yeah, yeah, they yeah, don't yeah. usually like when they move. because when they jump they could go cuz let's uh oh man it's been a while actually to remember the exact rules on um let's go open legend rpg Real quick here core rules for open legend rpg are right on the website for free of course the book is gorgeous um, we don't have it on the shelf right now. We rearranged the shelf. We can get it. Yeah, sure. It's absolutely gorgeous. Check it out. Leg room. Yay. Let's see here. Uh, it's It might be under combat, or is it under actions? Oh, boy. Let's see here. Ooh. Wrong. I'm on a Windows, not a Mac. Let's see. Uh, jump. Yeah.
Okay. <clears throat> no, it must be in combat, I think. Ooh. There it is. Gorgeous book. Highly yes, recommend it. Amaris Dung. Yes. That's the setting. First open legend setting. There's um, nothing like yeah. the real book. I know. And the art is gorgeous. They got great art for that. Let's do jump again. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Special movements. Yes. Okay. So it is jumping. It's a move action. Special movements include climbing, swimming, jumping, blah, blah, blah. Jump. Make a might roll. You can move up to 10 feet for free as a running start before jumping. Uh, if you do, you get advantage one for every 10 feet by which your speed exceeds 30. That's only for people who take the feats that increase their speed, so we won't mm. worry about that. So long jump is more what they're going to be yeah, doing, I think. I think so. But high jump is good to know, too. You cover a number of feet equal to your roll. So that's awesome. Cool. Oh, there's Mustache. Hey, Mustache. Hey. I know. Jacob has his. What? I did Oh, the screen. The GM screen. I bought one after the Kickstarter was all done. So, GM, G great mustache. Shout out, just finished or got the prints out, and uh, the, the the screen looks amazing. I should have had Jake leave it. It might be. He left some of his stuff here. It might be over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the GM screens look incredible. S same art from the, the books on there. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Okay, so these things jump at you. Do they... They also probably have the... I'm never going to remember. Probiscus. Probiscuses. <laughs> Probiscus. I'm just trying to remember. <laughs> um, do, the, do you think that they have them as well? Like, it's just something they all have? Like, the brood mother uses it to grab and drag them to her. Right. So, would the females have them... Uh, yeah, they have. They must. To what do you think they use them for? To help with their grapple? Can they have like a well? Feet yeah, of the way you're grappling to grab onto somebody and then eat them. Yeah, that would be probably bane, bane focus and mobile. Uh, let's start with this. I think we'll do Sorry. great leap too. I'm jumping no, you're ahead. Good. No, it's fine. We're thinking about their main thing here too. Great leap too. So manage to to leap now. Great leap uh, also to I'll just put jump. <clears throat> Great leap does allow you to use movement and agility instead of might if you need to, but I'm almost feeling like these things probably have might. Yes. Instead, because they're they're just not graceful like the the males are. Mm -hmm. So let's put in some might. Um, we haven't done hit points yet, too. But would they use the might for, for their bite and stuff, too? Uh, yeah, I so think would so. That, is that, the, like, their highest yeah. attribute? Unless um, unless you want to... How much do they utilize their cyanic capabilities as well? Is it less The females are less. Yeah, okay. And they are more just eating. So I think we went with a level one for now, so maybe we'll give it a five. That sounds good. To start... Um, let's, yeah, let's do hit points after. Um, okay, so you wanted some grappling stuff as well. Yeah, I think it would be a mixture between their proboscis and their, um, talons to just grab you. Right, and we could what make those weapons with mm -hmm. um, special properties like deadly or something else. Maybe even that also gives them an advantage on immobile as well. Mm -hmm. Do you so. think that they're like attack any part of the body? Do you think that they want to focus on a certain portion like the males focus on your head to get the eggs in your brain? Like do they also want to get your head? Like Right. Mm -hmm. Are they leg biters? <laughs> Leg biters. <laughs> they try well, to eat your legs. Now away. I was I was imagining that they were the like five feet tall, four or five feet tall. Yes. But is that too big? Yeah. So yeah. I was thinking they basically like can wrap around most of. Yeah, I guess a so. standard human or elf, like, and a, a halfling or gnome. They're completely. They can completely wrap them up. Sounds good. Um. You could do something with blood if you wanted, because the, my assumption would be, but tell me what you think, is that the ba the egg, the baby, has consumed most of the psionic energy 
of mm-hmm. the person. So they're literally eating the body just to get bigger. Mm-hmm. The the females and the brood mothers. So is it um, like from a magical sense? Are they like going for the blood or the heart? Yeah, I know. That's what I was like trying that. to think. Like, are what are they or is it wanting just, to attack? Or are they just the They're pure just horror just... of just like zombie consume? Like just rend your flesh yeah and eat you i guess that that would be more i didn't know if yeah i lean towards that more for the females because the broodmother like consumes so much and she gets gigantic yes yep her cyanic abilities come from consuming all of the la- the previous nest once the old her the old broodmother dies mm-hmm. that would be my assumption okay so That's let me good. just throw that advantage two to inflict Five plus damage, auto inflict. I always like to add that in just to remember. Um, okay. I and then this in here. If you want somebody really good at jumping, that's true. Skill special specialization and might. Mustache was recommending if we want really good jumping. Oh, it okay. It depends on what you're thinking. How how much of a jump do you want to give them? Um I mean, I guess it would be have to be impressive, right? It would have to be impressive. <laughs> <laughs> um, I why not? I like why not make because yeah. because they've got let's let's change this to ten feet. Let's make it mm-hmm. like they look they pathetic. look like flopping little things. Yeah, right. And you know the the party, especially if they suddenly surprise them. And then all of a sudden their hooks just grab in right, and they but can... They, <laughs> but they think they can run away from them. They're like, oh, they only have 10 feet of movement. As long as we stay out of range of that. Yeah. And then... And then they grab <laughs> and fly at you. <laughs> like a gorilla slam and it sends them into the air. Yeah. And then they kind of flap, awkwardly flap their wings to keep going. Okay, so I like that. Skill. Special. Oh, it's cricket. I know, it's really annoying. I don't know how much you guys can hear it, but it's really loud in our ears. <laughs> they're the coolest looking things, but they're so annoying. Um, let's quick look at it just for fun, too, and for everybody else. And what, what was it called? Skill specialization. Skill spe- okay, because that's their, like, their thing. You have up to five tiers. Doesn't bother me. Good, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> it's so loud in here. Yeah. Like, uh. Let's see. So you choose one attribute. Anytime you make a roll using the attribute, not for initiative attacks, invocations, defend action, you gain advantage one on the roll per tier. Okay. And so since this is their move action, it isn't an attack or anything, so it would apply to a jump. Great. Um, Awesome. And then blah, blah, blah. So what do we do? Maybe they've got two from Great Leap. I think just one. One. I was leaning towards one as well. I don't want to be too much. Right. Especially, we're, of course, you can always scale it up depending on the party. Mm hmm. And so that's might. And I am going to specify jumping. And so that's advantage one to jump. Yeah. So our total advantage three to jump. Mm hmm. So would you say all these creatures have, um, is it dark sight or whatever they can see? These ones, it probably does make sense. Did, what did we, um, let me I don't this remember really if quick. we did with the males, but I feel like they all would because they all have the psionic ability still. Right, let's see. Uh, influence versus resolve. I don't think we specified. We, about, we did talk about it. I think that it makes sense because they okay. have the, like, echolocation kind of idea, mm-hmm. too, with their squeal. Oh, I forgot to shout out I'm in Hero Muster, if you can't notice. That's their logo. Hero Muster, if shout out can't. to Mario. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, anyways, this is really great in the encounters to build your monsters, NPCs. No, so anyway. what's the okay. what's it called? Is it oh, dark sight? Uh, are they actually eyeless? 
Um, yeah, they so were. Adam, Adam was actually. Yeah, I think they all. Ignored. You know, that's what we did. We gave a five in perception, didn't we? Giving them access to blindsight through perception. Uh, is that what it was? Let me confirm here real quick. That's our old ones. Let's see. Mm, 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 where are your attributes? Yeah, perception five. Okay. So we could look at, so, did we add boon focus? We didn't, maybe we should give them boon focus, um, uh, d -d -d blind sight. Yeah, they just I think so. I think that up. they all can because it would make it harder for the <clears throat> players if they did, couldn't see. Right. Okay. So you just hear these winged creatures. You can't see them. Yep. Just flopping around like, ugh. I just like, I just hate the sound of the bats when they just <laughs> are flopping around. It's just like gross. So uh, <laughs> I guess, should we give the, the females perception five too? I mean, they are kind of the guards. Does it have to be five? In to get to blind sight or we can give them an item. I mean, I know, think they should have perception. Body something yeah okay so we'll do i feel like might's their top thing right i don't know if it's like equal to like i just let's let's put a note okay because what we could say is perception is not i mean obviously they can't see so they're they're you're self-limiting the monster because it doesn't have sight. Yeah. But it does have blind sight. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're able, are they seeing through echolocation or are they seeing through more of a psionic type what of ability? What would the difference of that be? Um, the only thing I was thinking about is how to then blind those creatures. Because um, then if they're using echolocation, inflicting the deafened bane on them would mm -hmm. blind them. It would mm -hmm. actually be blind. Mm -hmm. um, versus using psionic abilities, you'd have to do it in a different way. It would determine how the players would be able to counteract yeah. that or, you know, what so effect they'd have. the male squealers more attack your will, right? Didn't we talk about that? Wait, I'm sorry, say it again. The male squealers attack your will. Right, yes. So the female squealers attack your... Physically. Yeah, Maybe now they could still have psionic abilities as well. I guess. I just feel like they're not as good at it. Yeah. As the okay. males. So, um, I believe... They're more like big brutes and they you got to get them in the right spot and they have a... You know? Yeah. Like, we once they get you, it's really... So. You really don't want them to get you. Yeah, yeah. But it's hard for them to get you. <laughs> so, I'm going to... Uh, add influence because that's how we are doing the psionic let me see here to it it's catching up which means he's in the air default swim speed smell yeah that's interesting i don't know if you can see no. the thing so uh just looking at Adam and Mustache, they could smell the mental energies through their proboscis versus like oh, an echolocation. I really like cool. that. Yeah. And then Mustache was talking about this creature, you can just say the default. Right, default vision would, and so maybe their default vision is the proboscis. Yeah. Um, so they use it as like a sense. sensor, a sensing kind yeah. of thing. That's really cool. Which is another interesting thing too, if the players specifically, that's one thing they could use a minor action to try and perceive or figure out, or if they do figure it out, they could specifically attack the proboscis to get yeah. advantages on that. Yeah, um, for sure. They want to see something in the air there. Right, right, right. So, but if we go with the, they're kind of seeing, so they are seeing psionically. Okay. Um, through the through the proboscis. proboscis, that's cool. So then, man, it's almost like. Well, that's fine. Well, I'll, I'll leave that for now. We'll, we'll come back to it. Influence then, make lower like a three for mm -hmm. them. Okay. Um, we should look at what that gives them access to as well. Um, is there anything more you want to do with the? Should we focus maybe on the grappling thing because you want that to really be the their prime thing is the grapple yeah so they they grapple and then 
bite into you. We have the immobile, right? So we have Bane Focus and Mobile. Yep. yep. They've got the great leap and skill specialization to get there. Mm -hmm. Um so to add to that. So now it's just the bite itself then. Right, the bite itself. Which is just bite. Yep. So maybe giving them I uh, either attack specialization because then they would use the bane focus so mm -hmm. they would jump and do an attack hoping for that five over to then immobilize. Okay. And yep. do damage all at yep. once. So that's the like wrap around and just start biting them. Yep. That's what that whole flavor is. Yep. So attack specialization. Probably do one. And it's um no. Well, I'll put might now, but it's the bite tackle, really. Mm. Advantage one. He's like trying to the cricket is trying to talk to all his friends outside. You hear all the crickets outside. Or I should say Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm here. I'm still part of you. Gosh, he's so loud. <laughs> Tried to get him earlier, but he's like tucked up in there. Yeah. yeah. It's a good spot. It is. The wood looks nice. It does. Okay. Oop, not add another, but that's fine for now. Um, okay, so real quick, I think we should throw on here their wings. Talons or Oh, that's true, the talons. I I do like that. Mm-hmm. Um Talon tipped wings. Um, I think we should make their bite probably have a deadly property to it, yeah. which gives advantage on attacks. Okay. Um, versus unless unless you think both of them should, but that would. Give uh, them I was another kind advantage. of wondering if they had something kind of like so, like what to do with their teeth. Um, so of course my first image was. Like the sand monster y thing with the round mouth and the rows of multiple teeth, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. that kind of thing. But I kind of like the idea of if it did have multiple rows of teeth, kind of like a shark, you know, mm -hmm. because it can grab and it won't won't let go. Mm, and it mm -hmm. just will. And so it won't let go of that spot because it just wants to eat it. Okay. Um, no, that's cool. So <laughs> maybe we actually make the weapons both the same, and the idea is that the initial attack is from the wings and the talons slamming in and spiking into you and wrapping around you, mm -hmm. and then as the attack continues, the the mouth also has advantage on the grapple and bite because now it's also biting in and lashing into you on its teeth, yeah, twisting you around. Um, because I think. We did have a similar thing with the male. Yes, I think multiple rows of teeth. The teeth are like right. bent inward, so it kind of just sinks into you. And if so, if you're pulling against it, you're just gonna rip off flesh. Yeah. Yeah, so we had it, so they had advantage on the attack while immobilizing a target. Um, let's see. Okay, so let's do this. So I was wondering, do the talon tip wings do damage, or is our talons just part of the immobilization? Um, immobilization? Yep, so uh, I'm only thinking about turn order, mm -hmm. because then you, you do the jump, that's your move, and then your major is to immobilize. Okay. And then on your next turn, you'd start You damaging, do the bite. Which is fine. So what I'm thinking is maybe the talent-tipped wings have... Only a... happen if they get a really good roll, you're saying? No. What do you mean? Like if they roll really well on their grapple. Um, no, what I'm saying is on the first turn to grapple them, you're only doing a Bane attack, no damage to a uh, And then on okay. the next round of combat, you would start damaging. Got it. So what I'm thinking is you have Bane Focus, so you have the advantage too to inflict it, and then adding Potent to the Talent-Tipped Wings makes them have disadvantage to resist. Mm -hmm. um, so because the Talons have sunk in, it's really hard to break free yes. from, from this. So it's going to have the Potent. These are the mini-bosses, I guess. 
So depending on yeah, there's how, not because they many. seem pretty difficult. So we'll see how many you actually want. <laughs> You know? Yeah, well, yeah, that's it. Well, the other thing to think about is how much HP do we give the females? The males mm -hmm. are like a one hit wonder. Yeah, and they're so and the females are a little more difficult how many to kill. Hits. Two to four is my mm -hmm. inclination. Two to four hits. Yeah. Um, barring mm -hmm. explosions, of course, as always. Mm -hmm. But potent to mobile, so disadvantage to resist. Um, because this is something we said last time. Females can only come about if they're put in a host that is strong enough to handle the female. So right. that's why there's not as many of them because most of the time they just have town folk and little people and those are, they give males to. So if they find somebody like your party, they would put a female in one of them. Wh whoever has the, the higher psionic yeah. vibes or something yeah. like that. Yeah. I like that idea that actually a lot of the female eggs maybe just die because they yeah, just Yeah, they just find there's someone. no host for them. So they're actually really greedy for a really healthy right. robustly psionic person. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I was thinking about throwing in on the talent tip wings a special property um that they give advantage to a bite attack um, while target is immobile. Hello? I think I see the hole that he's hiding in. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. <laughs> we should take the camera. <laughs> he's right there. Um, so, I don't know. That's something name. you kind of have to play test around, but what do you think of that? Yeah. Like, as long as they're immobile, if the, the Talon tips have immobilized the target on the next turn, if they haven't resisted the immobilization, bite. the bite has an extra advantage on its attack. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying, a special okay. property. Yep, yep. Um, <clears throat> I was just thinking of naming the cricket. Oh. <laughs> um, Jim? No, no. <laughs> what's the... And, and I, I know, know Adam will know. know. It's the cricket from um, Disney... From Jiminy Cricket? Jiminy? Is that his name? Yeah, that's why I said Jim. Oh, <laughs> yes. You got it. <laughs> Thank you. I was I thought you were trying to think of his um Halloween movie um, and I was like, That's I don't... the one from um He Wants to Be a Real Boy. Yeah, Pinocchio. Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> no, I yeah, I'm tracking with you. And I'm I'm remembering the songs. I got no da 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 Those I, I don't seen know. that in so long. Jiminy Cricket. But I like Jiminy, not Jim. Sorry, I got you distracted me now. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I was thinking about I saw the Italian film where they did the live action Pinocchio and I can't remember the actor's name. That's the last version of Pinocchio I saw. Really? Yeah, very different. <laughs> the Disney one was really scary when they turned into the Yeah, yeah. Um uh, what did they turn into? The donkeys. Donkeys. Yes. I wanted to say the other word and I was like, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious. <laughs> well, he's back. There is really a live action coming out now. Really? I nobody didn't know nobody that. can think of new stories anymore. Anyway. Good one, though. I know. It's just. It's like Noah. What? They go on the whale. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, no, I thought you were talking about the Noah movie they made. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do not recommend. Sidebar. You're totally getting me distracted. Where are we? <laughs> right. They bite you. So talent tip wings have, uh, the weapons have potent. And what's fun with this is too, if the players think to use the disarm bane or something and cut off the talents, they lose these special abilities oh, too. Oh, that's that, cool. That's what's fun like about that. adding the, the, the physical properties of the monster being a, a weapon I always like because so I like if, if players think outside the box. Be. Right. They lose it, a lot of these. So it is yeah. very powerful, but if the players are thinking about, um, you know, thinking But they would probably feet, have to say, I'm specifically aiming for. 
Yeah, yeah, yes. you'd have to specify. Yeah. But if, if they're paying attention to, like, your descriptions or Man. using roles. I feel like notice. I'm a bad player. Like, that's just not something I would think of doing. I'm like, just kill it. Just like, kill it. <laughs> Smash it. Slice it. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Um, <clears throat> what are we lacking here? They're, they're feeling pretty good. I do want to do the teeth. Yes. Um... I'm like, what would make it creepier? Like, Nasty, besides just pointy teeth. That's nice. I like that. <laughs> um, what would make it scarier besides rows of teeth? Let me shrink this up a little. Rows of teeth. Like, I'm thinking either a round mouth or the entire head just opens up like a snake unhinged. And it, the whole thing's a mouth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Like yeah. The, whatever the head part is, just kind of folds. I picture down. it very flat too. Like the whole thing is. F- yeah. It's almost like a stingray or something. Yeah, I guess of, stingray. Like, yeah, that that, that, that shape. So I'm like, what would make sense? So I guess it would be more like a round sucker mouth. Yeah, or doing like the um, the watcher in the water sort of thing where it kind of unfurls this way. When the mouth is closed, it actually collapses on itself. Oh. Like this. Oh, no, I, I always love that design on that monster bite because it kind of it unfurls as it opens up. I do like that. Um, or it could be kind of more like an anus, like a sphincter that closes. Yeah. <laughs> Literally a butthole. Well, it's like a sucker fish thing. <laughs> yeah, maybe. sure. Sure. So... We're doing bats and stingrays. <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracted. No, yeah, bats and stingrays. <laughs> well, the stingray ki- killed Steve Irwin, so it's awful. Yeah, I really liked that. him a lot. I know. He you was know. like, <laughs> when I was little, like <laughs> going and getting gardener snakes in the backyard, grabbing it by the tail. <laughs> oh, look at that. Crikey. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Feeling so cool. Yes, the watcher in the water was creepy in the book. The movie definitely made it more monster. <laughs> Nasty, pointy teeth. Because I think you, so you only see the tentacles and or see. You only read about the tentacles reaching and the presence. No, those would be tentacles, actually. Wait, what are you talking about? The Watcher in the Water. The oh, I... Ring. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Got it, Comparing got the it. book versus the movie. I didn't know by the name what you guys were talking about. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Oh, my word, that cricket. That's the squealer. The it's a squealer screaming. I can hear its cries. Do we want to give the teeth anything else? Maybe persistent damage? Yes, for sure. Um, Do you want it just to be good at persistent damage or have a Bane focus of five plus damage against persistent damage? Um, I don't know. I just think it's really hard to get them off. So I think persistent damage makes the most sense. Well, immobile would be that, although you have the, the talons already doing that. Yeah. What else? Is there any other... So it's other... like, if you take them off, they rip off flesh. Sure. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Because it's, uh, it's, I'm just it's quick the backward-facing my... teeth um, in multiple rows. Jiminy. So there's nothing... Stop. Yeah, so you could do... I guess it would have to be specific to the teeth. Might doesn't give you persistent damage. But the teeth would specifically have that ability. Mm-hmm. So, do you want it to be baneful in that on five or more damage, it applies persistent damage automatically? Or that it's just good, it, you gain an advantage when uh, attempting to apply persistent damage as your major action? Oh. What do you mean? Um. Is there a possibility of poison? That's interesting too. Poison. Um, I lean toward it, if, if it was poison, maybe not poison necessarily. It would have to be like psionically affecting your brain. Yeah, that maybe. could be cool too. I like adding in the psionic element of it. That when they're biting into you, and then you can just 
the squealer for the female is not even a sound. It's when they're eating you. There's like psionic screams pulsing in them. Like their joy is they're consuming you and that's that's a poison. As you're yeah. like, you know, they're also like mentally assaulting you at the same time. Yeah. Because I want to try to keep the, I know. No, you're fine. I'm just ignoring it. I thought I pulled well, whatever. Oh, I would have grabbed him. I'm sorry. It's fine. Jiminy. <laughs> I wish it would be cooler if Jiminy little, was sitting on Gerard in the back. His little antennae sticking out for Gerard. a second. Uh, yeah. And I don't like it because I don't like bugs. We talked about this last time. <laughs> I don't want them touching me. I don't want them near me. A mental f- feeding frenzy. Yeah, that's cool. All right. I like Baneful, even though it is makes it quite powerful. I just feel like it's not. So there's it's just, like only like two or three of these. Yes. Agreed. In the room. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. And then maybe Depending a, on how uh, maybe the, one or two males is. around. Yeah. Well, there'd probably be like a, some males. Yeah. Because they can be killed. Depending on how many quick. they killed. Um. Yeah. Probably one or two females. But they're all really sense. hard to find because they just stay against the walls. I just I like it being baneful in that it just happens. It's just an innate result of the way their their teeth are. It's not something they do purposefully. Mm. Um. Bleed, probably. Bleed. Nobody makes me bleed my own bleed. blood. <laughs> All right, so there's the nasty pointy teeth and the tail and tipped wings. So, uh, yeah, some of their favorite actions. Let's throw some favorite actions in. Let's see, actually, real quick, with going back to that idea of the, the mental feeding frenzy. Yeah. Uh, filtered veins. Let's refilter. Um, psh, 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 psh. Right now they have an influence of three. I just want to see if we should make that more. Uh, la 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 la. So that would be like a demoralized. I know. I was wondering about a demoralized kind of mm-hmm. thing. So disadvantage one. I think it's nice. It's not. And it is a minor action to resist. Mm-hmm. And they aren't like great at the psionic stuff compared to the males. Right. I would say. So I'm thinking we make this a weapon as well. Okay. Um, mental feeding. What would it, I, I honestly like psionic squeal since they're squealers. Mm-hmm. Squeal. <clears throat> so this, I think they only start doing this when they're eating an immobilized target. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, um, immobilized target. Um, ba 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 ba. Target. I want to check something really quick, actually, in items. Let's see here. This is our squealer egg item that we made. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm thinking it's augmenting, right? Hmm? Applying this item's augmentation. Yes, so augmenting is a, a property you can give to an item. So to apply the augmentation is a move action. Mm-hmm. Except it consumes the item, which is interesting. So maybe they have a set amount of squeals they can do. Because my thought is, while they have it immobilized, they use their move action to do the scream. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the, the next attack made with the augmented item. And basically, I, I'm playing loose with the rules here, but the cyanic scream is the augmentation to the bite. So not only are you being physically bitten, but the the squeal augments it to a mental bite as well. So they're both eating you physically and mentally, mm-hmm. and that auto mm-hmm. auto in, inflicts the the uh, demoralized bane. So every time you're bit, you also get the demoralized bane. Mm-hmm. Technically, it makes it a consumable item. So they probably can only do this a certain number of times. Yeah, I mean they're probably only going to be able to do it once. <laughs> right. I would still Find give them somebody. A, I, I'll put a note in. I'm thinking a limit of three. Maybe they have three squeals they can do or something like that. Two. Two? Okay. One. I think they should have more than one? Nah, I think just one. Okay. No, one. I think one. Yeah. Okay. 
So they have one chance, and then it's just augmenting. Um. I just don't like making him too crazy. Like, powerful. It's fine, because you're player only, and I'm both player and no, I'm like, <laughs> let's make these monsters good, because players always kill them too fast. <laughs> I know. I, I just, I don't make monsters, so I don't know. <laughs> yes. Uh, like, I want them to be hard, but I want them to have limits. Um, applies to bite attack, which is cool, because now if a bite attack is really good, it has the baneful, and that first bite is augmented by the cyan squeal. I actually like that. They only yeah, have one. I think one. It's the initial. Uh, if you're able to resist that initial squeal, it just becomes background noise as it's destroying your body. Mm -hmm. But on a really good hit, if they've already immobilized you and then they get to bite you, you're now getting persistent damage and demoralized on top of it, which is really mm -hmm. nice. Demoralized is a minor action to resist. Um, <clears throat> and like so. Bees, yeah, with their stinger. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Thing, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and it's it's the second round, too. They have one round, depending on turn order, of course. And I think they just don't have as many psionic abilities either. So yeah, no, that's fine. This is the thing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think the only other thing they might try to utilize, if they have access to it, I think I still have it filtered. Is yeah, dominated, but they only have the basic domination target obeys a one word command. Um, oh, they might not be able to do it's got to be subhuman intelligence. Okay, so that doesn't quite work. I don't want to give them higher than that. Um, they do have the phantasm, which could be a way for them to hide themselves. That's mm. the, 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 using their influence. Mm -hmm. so that's a good thing to throw in. I think we should yeah, throw that in there. Yeah, for sure. Actions. That's how they hide in the first place, mm -hmm. you're saying? Yeah. Yep. Maybe under special actions. Just making them look like the um, rocks and walls. Yep. Use phantasm. Or let's, let's see. Um, hiding in plain sight. Phantasm. Mm -hmm. Heal power level three. Um, sustained because phantasm is one of the banes one of the few banes you have to sustain phantasm power level 3 sustained prior to combat as camo so they're, they always have the phantasm going until combat starts and they uh, gr hopefully granting them a surprise round which would be brutal a good surprise round from like two females whoever they attack immobilized on the surprise round and then if they roll high on initiative they're immediately starting to bite them yeah so like on a really bad like like optimal is surprise round uh immobilize and then start of the next round they start biting and they persist in damage and demoralize like mm -hmm. two two of the four party if you have two yeah of them, you that's know? something like if there's not that <clears throat> many of them right and then the males are coming in so that yeah. that, that would be that's like worst case scenario for the party um, okay, so yeah, we'll leave perception at five. I'll just put a note here of perception is a psionic sight through proboscis. Did I spell that right? I believe so. Nope. Ah, I. Mm. Da, da, da. Okay. We got the Great Leap. We got Bane Focus. I th think I'm pretty good on the feats. Is there any other things you want them especially good at, or you feel? I mean, they have no, their like good. thing. That's their thing. Yeah. Um, they only have a ten foot uh, walking hit speed. Ah, yes, hit points. Okay. So let's see. Guards should be pretty decent because their might's high. Um. I'm thinking a 16 to 18, something in that range. Okay. Um, you would know more about that. Well, because, like, right away with might, if you were doing normally, you'd be at a 15 right there, plus one for natural armor. You're at a 16. Mm -hmm. um, they don't really have much agility, so I think a 16 is pretty decent. Um, I don't think they're very tough. 
Mm -hmm. I think they're a little tougher than the males. Let me quick save this and look at the males. I was thinking like they're... What did we do? They might be tougher, but their resolve is not as much, maybe. Um, yes, tougher. I was I was thinking tougher. Did I say that? Backwards? Yeah, you said it backwards. I'm sorry. Yes, so I agree. Tougher, so they're tougher, but their resolve is a little less because they're not as good at the psionic abilities. So I'm thinking like a 12, maybe a 13 for toughness. Man, I'm not good at this part because... It's hard. It's hard. No one just get it right. Yeah. Um, not a lot, but I, I feel like they're so flat and gangly. Like these creatures just aren't physically very tough. Yeah. You know, these ones rely on kind of the element of surprise with that phantasm to assault and just decimate real fast. Yeah. 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 Yep. That makes um, sense. And then uh, resolve. Yeah, not that great, but. Yeah, because their influence is lower. All right, well, why don't we make this a 14 and resolve a 12? Seems legit. Let me double check what we did for male. Yeah, male's like 17 resolve. Yeah. They worship the mother. The females don't quite, because they know at some point they're going to have to fight for their lives. To, yeah. Like, um, I don't know. Maybe we could give them a little more, because they do have some influence. Maybe we'll make a 13. Lucky 13. Is that it? Is it? Why don't we make it 13-13? Is it? No, I think they're still tougher than they are. Tougher than um, they are yeah, resolved? I think okay. So. Do you want to leave it 14-12 yeah, or 14-13? No, I think 14-12. 14-12. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, then hit points, too. Yeah. Just really think focus became tough. Oh, did it get out of focus? Sorry, guys. Ooh. Mile for focus. I was looking back Oh. She's the photographer. She can see. Oh, I thought you did. I thought you did earlier. Oh, I smiled at the camera. I don't know what you were doing. <laughs> I was looking at the background. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, so hit points. Let's quick look at the build guide. So this is great. This is this is not this is uh, the normal. NPC slash monster stats oh, recommendations. Really cool. It's not the boss ones, just the regular. Yeah, no, but that's cool. Um, so we're looking at, yeah, and see, we're falling in our 16 is the high end. So I feel pretty good about that. And again, these are, you know, general reference. They're more like guidelines than actual rules. <laughs> so. Parlay. Parlay. <laughs> if we said two four hits i'm leaning towards somewhere right in the center maybe a 16 <laughs> hp as well oh that okay. might be high yeah, it's always hard uh, this is assuming a level one four level one yeah party mm -hmm. so they'd only be like two two hits no two yeah. of the females two of the females yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah two of the females there's the brood mother. It would be a hard level. So with Open Legend, the basic number setup for kind of gauging the the difficulty level is party total party level, um, and then hard is double that. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'll say it in the words. It's in combat here, isn't it? Difficulty. I don't remember precisely where it is. Where's the other one? It says there's two. Oh, I don't know. Mustache, if he's in there, he'll probably. It's been a while. Because I always, you know, I, I always kind of wing it. But twice, two times the party's total level, I, if I remember right, is the hard. So you're looking at eight. So. Yeah, I'll find it later. Post it in there. I don't remember precisely. Core mechanic, damaging roll. Oh, you know what? It's probably in running the game. Boom. Running the game. Again, openlegendrpg.com. The whole core rule. There's encounter difficulty. Yeah, here we go. The total party level, the signing. Again, this is just a guideline. Uh, uh, an easy encounter should present a significant threat, blah, blah, blah. So, party level, 
total party level. So if you have four PCs who are fifth level, that would be 20. So we're looking at four PCs level one. That's only four points you have. Um, and then a boss. If your encounter includes a boss, multiply their level by four. And minions, um, which is what we made the males, are minions. Uh, they are. You can trade an MC for three minions of the same level. So it's like a third of the cost. So... So we have four point. We have eight points for a hard. The boss is four by herself. The brood mother. When we get mm -hmm. to building her, that's four. And then you've got two females, so that's another two points. So you're at six. So you got two more points. So you could have up to six males mm -hmm. or another female in there for a true hard combat encounter for four level one NPCs. Mm -hmm. um, which of course we'd want to build up to. This is the hard one. So I actually like the idea of having six males in there. It, it's a lot of action economy, but again, the males, the males. If you're multi-targeting, you could wipe them out. Yeah. Pretty fast. Mm -hmm. um, so let's look back at the. Or you HP. die and you get eggs in your head. There you go. Mm -hmm. Teach their own. Uh oh. Ooh, a siren. A siren going down the street. The noisy night. It sounds like a fire truck. It does sound like a fire truck. Uh, there were like two accidents on my way home and <laughs> like. Two crazy people that almost caused accidents, like right near me. I'm like, what is were they happening? Were rubbernecking or something? No, they were just switching lanes like crazily, oh. and I'm like, what is what is <laughs> wrong with everybody? Like, chill out. So, so today? Let's Wednesday. See. Wednesday. That, that makes sense. sense. Sorry, I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Wednesdays are the Wednesdays worst. Are always the worst. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking about the basic <laughs> math on a on a might five. No, you don't die. The eyes are in your head. Not right away. <laughs> <laughs> Not right away. <laughs> um, so your average roll on a might five, which is the highest for a party member, is like a is it's a little over a twenty mm -hmm. with explosion. Um, so that would make it like average of four hits. Assuming they're rolling a 20, that's doing four damage because you're subtracting that from the guard. So m maybe we drop it, the HP a little bit to sure. 14. Yeah, yeah, I was kind of leaning towards dropping a little bit. Yeah. You know, there's a good chance someone could roll a 30 or higher and just one shot them. That, yeah. That's possible. Uh, but this way, on average, rolls a 16 is pretty decent. And so you're if you're averaging about a 20, Mm -hmm. um, you, you'd still need four hits there, three, three or four hits to take the females out mm -hmm. if you're rolling yeah. average. Yeah, there's so, just two of them. And there's two of them. I think that's pretty good. You, you might need to, re oh, of course, gauge it based on your party <clears throat> and how they roll. Well, you and Austin balance each other out nicely. <laughs> Actually, you don't roll bad during combat. You're pretty standard rolling for combat. It's, yeah. It's those, it's those important... It's that we're only going to roll like twice this session because it's a lot of RP and those only like, two rolls. It's like this is going to change everything <laughs> roll. Those are the nat ones. <laughs> those are the nat ones. <laughs> like combat uh, seems pretty... No, I'm getting better at combat because I actually have a full character now. That does help. <laughs> All right. So real quick, do you want to give a scary description to these creatures now? Mm. Um, if a bat and and a stingray and a had stingray a baby, stingray had a baby. <laughs> That's <laughs> the end. <laughs> and it flies like a chicken. And it flies like a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just imagine if a bat and a stingray had a baby that can fly like a chicken. <laughs> Done. And it has shark teeth. <laughs> and it has shark teeth. <laughs> Shark bait. Uh, um, okay. Well, what did we say for the males? Yeah, that's true on Open Legend. No um, net ones. What are the males' um, description? Because uh, I it, feel like we can kind uh, of go sure. off of that. Copy it, paste Based it, and the, then we'll change uh, oh, okay. it. Okay, that's what you want to do. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Right. Copy, paste. Copy, and paste. It. Does it save my enter? It does not. Okay. Okay. Faceless, okay. dark winged creatures were proboscises on top that stay curled, that stay. Oh my goodness. Uh, 
want to fix that. Stay curled most of the time. They are small creatures with a large wingspan to wrap around the target's head. They are medium creatures. <laughs> large wingspan and tipped. What did we say? Wing tipped talons? Large wingspan talon. Um, what are you thinking? Like, like hand, hand width length talons, like six inch talons or something? Yeah, two large on each. Uh, okay. Wingspan with two large talons on the end of each wing. Period. Bonk. Ah. Uh, um faceless dark wing creatures are do the proboscises come out of their mouth it's up to you or that was my assumption kind of more like the theme the brood mother yeah that makes sense it comes out of their mouth it could be a they could be all around the mouth too like encircling the mouth in between the rows of teeth in okay yeah that's cool with Krogus, uh, it's not on top. Curled in their teeth, mouths. Okay, that's good. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm gonna give them a little will just in case they need it. I'm gonna give them a two since we gave them a resolve of two. Mm. Uh, actually, no. I'm gonna change that to presence just in case. Um, perception. Oh, yeah. And then I noted that perception is through psionics, so that can be flavored as is. Mm -hmm. uh, fair enough. Yes. <laughs> Proboscis is usually in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> the males are different because their mouth is the brain, because they're psionic abilities, and they eat off of the brain. It's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Jiminy. Oh my nah. word. All right. That looks good. Let's save this. And this is the coolest part for me. I love this. I'll expand a little just so. I love that Hero Muster makes these things. Makes you feel like you did something. Yeah. Da -da -da. Got all your information Printed there. Printed out. Yeah, mole snout. <laughs> <laughs> We just keep adding animals. <laughs> just take your pick of animals, stir them together. <laughs> Let's see what happens. And that's what we got. All right. You feel good about that? Yeah, I Is do. Is there anything missing? Yeah. I think we're going to no. save the brood mother for another time. So we'll wrap it up here. But yeah, I think that's good? good. Excellent. This will be fun. We got to have some kind of like some shot with this. No, I really would like. Thing. Yeah. It's you got to run it. <laughs> I don't know. You can't play. You'd know all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Um, I don't know how to GM, LM. Hey, neither do I. You just wing it. <laughs> right, guys? Comment below like if you, you want Kristen to <laughs> run this game with the squealers. <laughs> you roll a thing. Do the thing. <laughs> Shuli. Shuli. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Happy then? Yeah. That's the squealers, the female squealers. We'll do the brood mother next time and uh, we'll have all the monsters set. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining. Thanks, Adam and Mustache, especially. Yeah, Good to thank see you guys, you guys in the chat. And um, yeah, this has been another fantastical episode of the Forest Forge Wildcraft. Uh, Wild Crafting with Avenue Studios. <laughs> I'm definitely tired. And uh, thank you so much for joining this adventure here. You can uh, support us on Locals and Patreon if you want to join the ever-growing forest known as Avenue Studios. Um, doing so not only helps us continue to create high-quality content in TRPGs, but you also gain access to our exclusive Discord where you can chat with us, play games, watch movies, and so much more. You'll actually see Adam from Minimum Planar Crossroads and the great moustache in there. Many other cool people. Uh, I'll give another shout-out. It is Mojo, Mojo Tyken, I think. 
who just joined. He's our newest yeah. member. Thank you so much for your support. My good friend, uh, I really appreciate it. Look forward to uh, seeing you in some games. Um, if you guys become a part of, of the Avenue Studios Forest, you'll be in our live stream games, um, if that's something that sounds fun. And of course, we'll have private games as well. And um, yeah, what else? Bomb Squad comes out on Friday. Nope, yeah. Jacob's Lab, oh, Jacob's right? Lab. Yeah, because Aurora's Time Skip. Yes. Aurora's Time Skip just came out last Friday, so check that out if you haven't seen so it. Good. That's our main campaign I, show. I cried again. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn's Time Skip will be next. So that'll be next Friday from when this goes up. This coming Friday is the next Jacob's Lab episode. And um, on, oh, next Wednesday, our, our live stream we're doing next Wednesday is Jacob is running a Pathfinder bounty game. I'm not sure if he specified which one yet, but one of the bounty games and uh, Adam from Interplanar Crossroads is playing. I think Mr. Moral Compass, one of our local supporters. And oh my goodness, who else is playing? Adam, do you remember who else is playing? Why am I blanking? I don't remember. Huh. <laughs> I got to look in the Discord. <laughs> Somebody else is playing. Jacob. Jacob's running it. Compass. Adam. Oh, Zechariah, of course. Oh, Zechariah. Teary Tele, but he won't be Teary. He'll be somebody else. So Zechariah <laughs> will be playing that. So check that out. Um, I'll be running OBS and stuff. So you'll probably hear me talking now and then. And then uh, starting in September, we're going to be picking up with the Outlaws of Elkenstar in Pathfinder. Jacob's going to be running Mr. Moral Compass, Chiro, Chiro Ochiba, and Kristen and I. Um, again, those are two of our supporters in Patreon and locals, so you can get chances to play with them and chat with them if you join the forest. And um, yeah, so keep your eye out for Outlaws of uh, Elkenstar. And I think that's about it. We'll have some more games coming up, and somewhere in between here, we'll have a Squealers game. The Master of the Taylor Hayes, yes. Someday. Absolutely. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for forging with us tonight. Uh, comment below if you use uh, if you're going to use this or if you end up using the squealers you know use that this would be so fun. oh and it's another thing we are going to eventually I want to get art for this stuff everything we build in Force Forge eventually is going to be in PDF form for our uh, supporters of course you can always copy what I'm doing right here on Hero Muster but um, we'll make nice like monster cards and item cards and NPC cards with art and all that good stuff and um, yeah Oh, I'll give a shout out too. Check out Interplanar Crossroads because I think last I looked, he was at 993 subscribers. He's almost Ooh. at that thousand mark. So if you haven't checked him out, subscribe. Let's get to that thousand mark for Adam and have some cool giveaways and, and fun games. Uh, I'm really excited for it. And uh, congratulations, Adam. It's so close. It's I'm just watching it every day. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's about it. You guys have a great night. Jiminy's back. Jiminy's back. He'll hang out with us. Um, yeah. We will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.